So it has been a long time since I wore the mask and did some training, had some flubs out there on that range footage, but gas masks. So these things have become increasingly more popular for civilians to own and carry in their kit. And I have been issued a mask most of my adult life in the military and law enforcement. I've had these laying around and I've used them and trained in them and done all kinds of different stuff. And never really until the past couple years have I actually ever thought about owning my own or having one. But as we've all kind of seen things degrade in certain cities and places across the world, it's been something that's kind of brought to the forefront of my mind, at least a lot more recently. So I got a hold of Mira and they were cool enough to send out one of their masks for me to kind of check out, test, and kind of, I guess, compare to the ones that I've been issued over the years from the military, law enforcement, and all that stuff to kind of see how it stacks up. So for the purpose of today's video, we're really just gonna be explaining what this gas mask is used for, what the options on this are, and what it's intended use for, because there are all different kinds of respirators, gas masks, and they are rated for very different things. And oftentimes you can't use one for the other, or you wouldn't wanna use one like this for something less than it was really meant for, because it would be uncomfortable. So you need to know the differences between actual CBRN masks and something like a basic respirator that you would use for say, spray painting or welding. But hey, if you wanna go ahead and weld or paint wearing the full face, you know, the hills have eyes kind of people mask, totally up to you. But this thing serves a very specific purpose. So let's go ahead and check out some of the options, kind of explain what this thing comes with so you have a better idea if you're new to the whole world of gas masks or anything like that, or if you're in the market for one, what type of things you're gonna to wanna to look for. All right, so we're gonna talk about the CM7M mask from Mirror Safety, what you're gonna get with this thing, and kind of explain what this thing is going to do. So as far as what you're gonna get with it, you're gonna get obviously the mask, you're gonna get your instruction manual and use manual right here. You will get the canteen, but you will not get the filters. I have these here to show you, however, so you can kind of understand different sizes and how they can be worn. So if you have no idea what these are actually for, this is a military grade in use around the world gas mask that is CBRN rated. So what does that mean? Chemical, biological, nuclear, and radiological. There is a time limit that these filters last that this thing will protect you in any of those environments. Um, toxic gases, riot gases, all that kind of stuff. And that is generally what people are looking at these for. So like I said, you don't get the filters with them. I have these here for display because this is compatible with the NATO standard 40 millimeter filters, which are widely available everywhere. It is also um, usable with the external breathing devices. So the big backpack style ones, you can port those in as well. So besides that, let's talk about the hydration. You will get the canteen with it that has your closable port right there. And if you've never used one of these, your hydration tube is gonna come out here. You have a gate valve. Always wanna make sure that's closed after you drink so you don't leave it open and allow things to get in. You pull the hose off like that, expose the nipple on the port, and you're just gonna jam it in the hole there on the canteen. Hydrate yourself, ensure that you close it away, clean it off depending on your environment, and then just restow it right there. Up front here, that's gonna be the speech diaphragm. It's a little bit better than some of the older stuff so you can actually hear people around you or yourself when you're talking. You do have the ability to change filter or run dual filters if need be, depending on your environment and the agent you are working with. So you can swap that out left hand and right hand so you can still shoulder your rifle and do things out there. Here on the bottom, that's gonna be a drain port, okay, as well as an exhaust port. So you're gonna be sweating generally pretty good when you're wearing these things out there. So that will help keep this thing uh, from filling up on you with sweat or uh, you know fogging up too bad. If you look inside right there, you'll see the portion that actually goes over your mouth and you will see the hydration tube right there that you're going to drink off of. I know it's kind of dark in there, so that gives you a good idea of kind of how that fits. Now, there are different styles of masks. This one obviously is the dual ocular style. and Some of them just have a complete face shield. That's gonna be dependent on what you do. As far as other compatibility, this is compatible with Scott's ocular devices. It is also compatible with most major ear pro helmets. And uh, of course, like I said, the filters out there. So pretty standard stuff when it comes to these. These are in use, not only by the Department of Defense here in the US, but pretty much all over the world. There are several different countries that use specifically the Mira Safety brand. So pretty cool stuff. Um, you also can use Camelback 
um, bladder hydration, you know, backpacks or whatever with the M adapter on it. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and talk now, that you know, a little bit more about this kind of the back mesh here. So these are far more comfortable than the old school, just all rubber gnarly ones that were like, you know, circa 2000 to 2005, I guess in the military, super uncomfortable. It's got a kind of self locking uh, adjustment right there. So it doesn't pull, it's all rubber in there and you just very easily pull out like that and it'll come off. So pretty cool design there. And it is, like I said, it's far more comfortable to have this mesh style backer giving you the proper seal than uh, the old school rubberized stuff. As far as the fit of this thing, there's different sizes. So you're gonna pick the size that fits your head. Most people are gonna be fine with a medium. My big headed friends out there with the large domes, you're probably gonna need a large. So let's go ahead and talk about the cost of this. And of course, just the why, why you would want something like the Mira 7M CM mask. All right, let's go ahead and knock out the wear, fit, and the comfort of these things. So gas masks, obviously, as you can tell, probably not the most comfortable things in the world to wear for long periods of time. One of the big things is going to be, obviously you have filters, it's covering your entire face, it's gonna be sweaty, foggy, and it's gonna weigh you down a little bit. And depending on what you were doing, you may have to move filter to one side or the other, use a smaller filter, or use the bigger filter like this. So overall, the weight on these, it are they're light. For what they are, they are very light. So I have had masks, the very old ones that were quite a bit heavier and far less comfortable. The netting, the mesh material, the adjustments on them, the overall comfort and the mold of this to your face is nice. You've always got to make sure that the mold is going to fit your face style as well. You have to clear and make sure you have a good seal on these. And this one performed quite well as we were out there just playing with those, you know, red, different colored smoke bombs on the range, having some fun. So definitely the fit and feel, it's as comfortable as it can be for a gas mask that you're gonna be in for a long period of time, uh, which is just not going to be overall comfortable. So don't think this is gonna be as comfortable as wearing something like your hat. Not gonna be that way. It's gonna leave lines on your face, it's gonna get uncomfortable, it's gonna be sweat and hotty, just deal with it. Now when it comes to the filters, there are different sizes, there are different threat levels. And that's all gonna be dictated by your environment and what you are facing out there. So CBRN, chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, say the aerosol or just fume, kind of, you know, like CS gas. It's out there or higher chemical threats. These filters have a lifespan and you need to change those filters out. That's really gonna be specific to like military or other cool guys doing things where they could come under some form of attack by an NBE agent that is a lot more than what we would probably see here in the United States. I'm not saying that that stuff couldn't happen here, but if the past couple years, like I said, I've never thought about carrying or owning my own mask, but with everything we've seen and the amount of CS gas that's been deployed across this country the past couple of years, and fireworks and things burning on fire, you don't want to breathe any of that stuff in for any amount of time because it sucks. And if it comes to fumes of any type, that can cause long-term damage. If you do use a mask like this or choose to buy one, there is maintenance and cleaning that goes along with it as well. You're gonna have to change the diaphragms out. You have to inspect it. You have to make sure you have fresh filters and you definitely need to ensure that you can clean this. It's pretty simple. You can really just dunk this thing in a soft soap water and clean it out completely. You do not wanna put any chemicals on it, any types of hard soaps or cleaning things like that. A very mild soap, if any and just rinse the thing off, especially after CS gas or any type of uh, you know chemical sprays or anything like that. Because if you put this thing back on with a certain time frame, you're gonna get all of that on your skin and then it doesn't do you any good. So to wrap it up, let's talk about the cost. So the mask itself, 250 bucks, and that comes with the hydration system and the canteen meant to be used with the hydration poured in here. Your filters, they're gonna range anywhere from like 50 to 70 bucks. Sometimes you can find them cheaper. You can buy them in bulk, and that's really all a personal decision depending on what you do for work, how hard you wanna prep, you know, if you wanna carry this thing daily, do you need a thin pancake filter for CS gas, you know, only or do you need a big old filter like this because you might be in a really crazy environment for an extended period of time. All of that stuff is completely up to you. I will leave Mira Safety's link down in the description for you. Overall, it's a solid mask. It's good. It's much more comfortable than one I am currently issued at work. And this will probably be one that I'll carry around with me should I ever have to use it. 
because it's a little bit lighter and a little bit more comfortable. As far as the viewing, like I said, couple different styles, full mask with the full shield so you get a little bit more viewable area. This one, the dual ocular style, is still compatible with all of your ocular devices, but you do lose a little bit of field of view. On this one, they rate it at about 70% viewable area. I don't really have a perfect way to measure that, but I can say that's roughly about what you're gonna get out of it. Some of them come way further over on the side so you get more peripheral. Uh, but ultimately, depending on what you do for a living, this one's probably gonna suit your needs just fine. As far as the testing and the use of that one, the Mirror Safety brand is currently in use by the US Department of Defense and a bunch of other countries. You can check their website for all those details, but it's good stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learning a little bit about a gas mask. I know it's kind of more prepper-ish style stuff than I normally do for you guys here on the channel, but it was pretty cool and I wanted one, so I reached out to them and they were cool enough to send it out. You guys get out there and have some fun on the range. Train in your gear. Train accordingly in your gear because if you don't, you might have some flubs out on the range like I did. Um, didn't help that I was running too heavy of a buffer in my rifle that day because I didn't have the suppressor on it, so I had a couple of malfunctions there. Get out there and have some fun, guys. I will see you on the next one. Like, share, subscribe, do all the cool stuff. Hope your new year is going awesome, and I will see you guys all around on the next video.